You are listening to Breakfast with myself, Emerald, on Rinse FM, and I am joined by two absolute dons, to be honest. One of them goes by the name M.I.A. Good morning. Morning, morning. And one of them goes by the name Remy, who's one part of Gorillas. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's his just, nice, cute, just, like, I just cuddly to voice. Push hello. But, to, yeah. To contradict the, <laughs> the image that might be out there on the street. Oh, hello. I think you look like a fine upstanding gentleman. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Plus four is a pleasure. <laughs> we're, we're secretly campaigning for Corbyn. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. So, Maya. Yeah. The last time you were here was when your album was released, AIM, yeah, late last right. year, which was a really great time for you. What, what have you been up to since then? Has it been really busy since the release of that album? Let me see. I went traveling for a bit. Where did you go? China. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> way, 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 way away wow. from the West, which, which is another thing I could tie into the whole pacifism thing because I think even though they are super can, can be aggressive, but they're actually pacifists. They ain't gonna yeah. bring out the nukes unless yeah. we bring them out first. And I think that's 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 why I like I like that sentiment. Yes, yeah. it's, it's the future. The biggest nations have to chill. They got it's like chill. the six six foot twelve year old in the in the playground. <laughs> he had to chill. That was me. Because he was just like, hang on, I'm <laughs> that just. That's no, the live <laughs> version that, you of what, what you're talking and about. And as a result, I'm a gentle giant. There you go. Because so everyone's trying to pick a fight. The BFG. China. Yeah, the, the BFG. Yeah. The BFG. G, original. That's me. Um, have you got any more videos planned for the AIM album? Uh, yes. Wicked. It's coming out during the time at Meltdown, I think. Somewhere around there, for finally. Can you tell us what, oh, for finally, yeah? Yeah, it's shot by a photographer called Vivian Sasson, mm -hmm. who shot the album cover. And it's directed by her, so it's kind of like something I'm not really used to. It's like, it's a lot of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. For me, it's really difficult because I'm like, oh, I would have just put tons of other stuff in it, mm -hmm. you know. And um, as you know, the power video is just like, I've got a veil on the whole time. You can't really see my face. So this is completely the opposite. Yeah. And, uh, but she's a fashion photographer, so it's very fast. Very fast. Very fast. <laughs> There's another like buzzword. There we go. It's very fast as well because it's kind of yeah it's gonna come out we just edited it and handed it in today mm -hmm. so it's gonna be out in about two weeks i guess so obviously the main thing in your life that's happening at the moment which i can imagine is quite consuming for you is meltdown festival yeah curated by so many legends in the past to name just a couple yoko ono david bowie david byrne as well how does it feel to be given that honor to be the curator of meltdown festival this year Obviously, I'm really honoured if that's like the politically <laughs> correct <laughs> answer, yeah, but yeah. I really think somebody spiked their drinks <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. But here we are, fast forward a month later, and this is real. Like, I'm actually curating it. <clears throat> and it's been kind of crazy. Today's event was about trying to get a drone to fly from South Bank straight to the Ecuador embassy so Julian Assange can contribute. And um, wow. so we're trying to fly the drone over the river down to Knightsbridge over Harrods things are a bit technically difficult are but are you going to be allowed to do that i don't think yeah. so i i think i think i don't it's think happening. so but it's happening <laughs> it's happening to so come down yeah. it might not be legal but it's going to happen happening. there's going to yeah. be a lot of stuff yeah. that's not legal but it's going to happen at meltdown i've got a feeling See, this is That's why you're the curator. Mr. Yeah, they yeah. need some controversy within some stuff. the festival. Well, use the city, you know. Like I'm saying, use the city, use the palette. Yeah, that you have yeah. And say something about something. Yeah, because we've spoken a lot about this, about your theme, which is it's on my butt. Different <laughs> It's on my butt. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hold on, let me read that for the red listeners. Trust me, that takes courage. It says, yeah. all you need is, is love, love and, and courage. courage. That's Indeed. the great sentiment Indeed. for the pacifists. Amazing. Right yeah. There. yeah. Okay, yeah. can you tell us more about that theme? Well, it's kind of just like trying to get a soup together, people. It's just, I have no idea about how to create a, a, a festival. I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. And I've always really put it off. So <clears throat> my wish list, obviously, it's like, 
get me blah blah get get me vibes cartel from jail <laughs> you know, that was like on my number one on my wish list get him out of the pen <laughs> and onto the so, south yeah bank. it was like crazy demands you know yeah. i want el chapo to be doing the talks <laughs> things like that and uh yeah i want shake it, bar out on a plinth yeah. do you know what yeah. i mean and then the, yeah. the fast tag uh Exhibition okay. came about exactly because we were like, who the fuck invented the Che Guevara t-shirt yeah. and did he get paid? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we decided to do a talk on that and then yes. that's how we like developed the idea to do a musical museum. Which is so happening at Meltdown. It's going to be happening at Meltdown, yeah. Which date is that going to happen? Have you decided? Well, it's, it's on the whole time. It's the, from the opening night, yeah. The whole it's just thing. on, it's in the foyer and it's kind of like, I don't know, when I was a kid, t-shirt was the hashtag. Mm -hmm. You wanted to join a group, not say anything. You wanted to juxtapose who you were with what you were wearing. That's how you did it. Yeah. And it showed a, a level of commitment. Mm -hmm. And the worst word in the world right now is slackivist. Slackivist. Because you don't have to do anything, mm -hmm. and you've even th that's even a hashtag is a shame. <laughs> but at least a t-shirt, you had to do something. Yeah. You literally had to wear it on your sleeve. Yeah. Slackivist. Slackivist. I like that. Mm. That's accurate. Yes. Can I just say this? What? Live on fucking air. <laughs> We're gonna be Jeremy this Corbyn <laughs> totally slid into my DMs last night. No way. Yes, he did. Wait. I have proof. Hold on. Yes, he did. Yeah, Let that's, me isn't that see crazy? this. That's nuts. That's it nuts. is nuts. It's nuts. No and way. All right. He wrote a fucking essay. I gotta say this, but he pointed that same fact out. Exactly what you just said. I, I don't know why we don't try something else. Okay, I can't right. think of another reason. Yeah. Uh, apart from everyone's like, oh my God, he's just not a leader. And I don't know what the fuck it takes to be a leader now. If if it is going, well, to me, to, to be a great leader, it means I have to be so good at robbing you, <laughs> taking all your fucking money, <laughs> right? And then <laughs> bombing countless of people around the world and then complaining that they want to run away from the bombs and come to this country to have a peaceful time. Yeah. It's just like none of it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So anyway, on that note, it's 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 just like given that you got to try something else because he will get because he doesn't have such a solid identity of like bish bosh. This is what I am. I think it's a great sponge for young people to tag on to him and yeah. help define what Britain is and the future British identity is because right now we don't have one you yeah. know and it's really vague which is this is this is the moment of vagueness which they're saying it's due to him not being a strong enough leader but the vagueness is we don't have an identity yeah. you know it's like don't put it on him it's not him Let's talk nice. about some of the acts that are performing Ooh, yeah. at Meltdown. Yes. Who have Who we got, got to look forward oh, to? Who we got? I Wayne, right? I Wayne. I got to bring some attention to this Jamaican day I've got going. <clears throat> so, I booked I Wayne because he's like my prophet. And okay. 10 yeah. years ago, me and him, no, it wasn't even 10 years ago, it was before, 12 years ago, we both played SOBs. And uh, it was before I got signed to Interscope. And we both went to New York, you know, it was our, one of our first shows. And <clears throat> we performed together and that night, all the sort of like head of the labels came to sign me. And I was like, listen, I'm like this like totally voiceless refugee person from Sri Lanka. I have to sign to a major label to get heard or seen. I, I cannot do it on the underground level. So I'm going to sell out and do this. And he was like, there's no way I'm going to do this. And both of us left that night. We left the building and I signed with Interscope and he moved to a farm because he's like, I'd much rather go and listen to the wind than ever come to America. Sick, right? <laughs> Sick, right? And then literally he did that. And so I've not seen him since that day. So I booked him just to be like, what happens to a guy who doesn't sign for a million dollars and moves to a farm yeah. and listens to the wind? So to me, it's like that was just something I needed to do. It's like a karmic cycle that I needed to see him again to yeah. be like, what do I do? <laughs> you know, I win. I know. Yeah. yeah. Guide me, He's I like win. major jar. Yeah. So then I have to kind of, yeah, uh, check in on him. And then Dex Adapts obviously is featured on my AIM album. So he's there. Nokia doing it? No. Princess Nokia. Nokia. Yeah. yeah, she's there. She's yeah. there. I, she's I'm amazing. a tomboy. I, I, I'm a tomboy, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. No, I don't know what I mean. What I mean is I love that song. <laughs> young Ma. I just is love there. that song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. There's a lot of youngs, youngins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Young which, are, which are the young, young mom, fathers? Young fathers. Young fathers, fathers. Yes. Yeah. Gigs and gigs. Hey. All right, so that's going to be interesting. How did you get him into the building? I had to fight off Drake. Fight <laughs> 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 off Drake. Called it. Yeah. So throughout your career, you've been really good at identifying and curating young raw talent and bringing them up to a standard where they're amazing, basically. Is there anyone who's going to be at Meltdown who qualifies in that same sort of thing who you're going to showcase at the festival? Uh, I We've got a little room set up called um, Temporary Resident DJs. So we're getting like kids that are in refugee camps around like Lebanon, Syria, Turkey, France, Greece, and they are gonna DJ live with a live stream. We're gonna set up. So it's a bit like boiler room, but we're gonna set it up from the camp to our, you know, South Bank. Wow! Yeah, every day, what for an hour? They're gonna have a real situation. Cool. Yeah, and it's called temporary residence because. Hey, get that? (laughs) All right, well, thank you so much, guys. It has been a very enlightening interview. Go out and vote. Yeah, do do it. it. Do it. Yeah. Right now, be Um, that goat. Yeah, be (laughs) Be that goat. Exactly. Go out and vote. Be the MVP. Yeah. Yeah.